Let's get you in the loop on a new set of HD switchers just announced by Blackmagic Design, the 8M 1ME, 2ME and 4ME Constellation HD. This new all SDI set of switchers is the next step up from the 8M in the extreme with some things to be aware of. The 1ME version is a two thirds rack width design, leaving some room to slot a recorder or a streaming box next to it. And it offers 10 SDI inputs all with scalers and six SDI outputs. There's also one dedicated multi-view output too. Next, the 2ME version has double the inputs at 20, double the outputs at 12, plus two SDI multi-view outputs. And that's all packed into a one rack unit. Finally, the 4ME version has, you guessed it, double the ins and outs with 40 inputs, 24 outputs, and an additional four multi-view outputs. It also includes MADI in and out. Most likely the outputs can be configured to send any input or program preview signal. Unlike the ATEM Mini series though, it's most likely that the multi-view can't be sent through these outputs and must be sent through the multi-view ports. We don't know that yet, but it's a good chance. All three models have a USB-C port for webcam into your computer. This will likely show the program feed and can be used with things like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. It's also really good to know if you're coming from the 8 Mini world that there's no recording or streaming built into these boxes. Now this is not hugely surprising since in the last year we've seen a whole refresh of the Blackmagic HyperDAC recording line and the WebPresenter streaming boxes. The idea here being that you would add those devices here to complement these new ATEMs. We got a little spoiled in the past with SuperSource functionality in the ATEM Mini Extreme. Only the 2ME and 4ME model have SuperSource built in. Full control of these ATEMs is possible right from the front panel, much like the ATEM Television Studio HD or the 8K Constellation model. So now the entire lineup has a very familiar feel and look to it. One neat thing mentioned in the manual is the ability to show a counter option as an overlay on output one. It looks like you have some options for positioning and what kind of counter to run, but we don't know much at this point and we'll have to give it a try when we get it in our hands. Now I believe we can expect even more in this lineup in the future. Many of us have been waiting for 4K versions of these, so we'll see those hopefully this year or maybe early next year. I wouldn't be surprised to see the ATEM Television Studio Pro HD get a refresh as well, since it's a really nice form factor. The Blackmagic website also still lists this gray 4K lineup, which are much in need of a refresh. So we'll see how the year goes. One thing for sure though, if you want an all SDI setup and you're more than happy in the HD world, then these Constellation switchers are a really good bet. These devices are all available now from your local reseller and there is a lot more to unpack here. I'm hoping to get my hands on as many of these units as possible in the next few months. So stay subscribed for that. If you do have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, consider yourself in the loop on these new HD Constellation switchers from Blackmagic.